Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeons 2. Another video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Rumble. This time I have a plan. Your sanctum. Adrift in this by two minutes. A plan. This plan is the greatest plan ever conceived. You mistook my abundance of caution for a lack of confidence and would perseverate on your grievances at length. The crossroads. Wait for the lantern's light and welcome what help may okay, come. Okay, so I want to use Damien with his Maniac Path. Cause let me check. Maniac, self 10% damage, target knockback 1, 2 Blight, versus Wanderer, self 10% damage, target 3 Blight. But the Maniac instead, knockback 1 and 2, versus the alternate is knockback 2 plus combo. What else does it change? I think it changes it, um, let me see. Acid Rain, and Lash's, Lash's Gifts and Sepsis. Okay, Lash's Gift. Um, self heal 20%. Um, still two, still all negative tokens. Requires target has two negative tokens. No, Requires target has negative tokens. Cool down on two. Now, I think this is actually really good. I'm wondering, Noah, how is this really good? Well, you're crazy if you don't think it's good. Uh, you can heal any time at all, then heal your allies for that heal. It's only two turn cooldown. You don't need to be at a certain amount of health. And the alternate is it still has 30%. But that's all the abilities I have that changes. Also, I think I... I don't know about Endure. For right now. Other, unless I want him to go Toxic. Then to help him with the damage he's going to be taking. We're going to be using Plague Doctor. With Emboldening Vapors, Plague Grenade, Noxious Blast, Incision, and Battlefield Medic. With the um, Alchemist Path. Then... Um, I, I don't know. We, I'm gonna use, uh, yeah. I'll use Virtuoso Jester. A murderous melody lingers long after the final chord has He has Blundering, I'm fine with that. It's unfortunate, but I'm fine with it. For his skills... I do not want Slice Off, I want, um, Harvest. He's just gonna, no, I'll take Slice Off instead. Yeah, he's gonna be just going in between these two ranks, and then finally the reason we need other combos is because we're gonna be bringing Leper. Adversity is the very essence of existence. With the Tempest Path, so minus 5% max health. 100%, uh, 95% um, disease resist, because it can only go up to 95%. 33% chance to resist debuffs and 33% more damage to his chop skills. Which is this skill right here. And I want everything I currently have except for purge, which instead I'll do is break. Reason I do not want um, purge? Never guess. Because Damien can use Fester, which causes blight. So basically, Jester's going to get combos for Leper, and the Plague Doctor is going to heal Damien, the Flagellant. And this is my plan. Now let's uh, let's um let's see. So this guy, minus ten percent bleed resist, fifteen percent chance for days, a hundred percent rough pouch scouting. That's actually really good. Peacemaker. Surely violence is the last resort. That's not Damien at all. Violence is the only violence is the only resort. Um, plus five percent positive relationship chance, minus ten percent negative relationship chance. That's so good. Versus fanatics, minus twenty percent damage taken and uh, plus fifteen percent damage dealt to them. And if he gets hit by a fanatic, he has a twenty-five percent chance to lose stress, but he has blundering combat start. Oh, that's actually really bad. We're moving one damage, twenty-five percent chance. It's not the worst. And then you have Blundering as yell, but you also have Unyielding, 10% um, chance to resist a death blow. Death door is 80, which is higher than everybody else's. Damien naturally, I think, has high for that because he's just he's just insane. 
Also, I plan on advancing a story to get Acid Rain. I'm really hoping for more and more. That's a taunt, I'm pretty sure. Because honestly, from what I've seen, Damien's actually really good. And this is probably going to be the only character I call by name because his uh, the Fledgeland is actually harder for me to say than Damien. We're going to be, again, we're going to be running the Maniac Path. So let's go. Let's see how this team does. Instead of making them one whole team that each um, complements each other's skills, I'm making one, uh, two duos. So for instance, Plague Doctor helps Damien, Jester helps Baldwin. So instead of like making a whole team, I made two duos. Oh yeah, and then we do have some items actually, so... We have the Hags of Ward, plus 10% healing received from skills per positive token. You ain't getting positive tokens, that ain't happening. This could be good on him, because he's not going to get diseased. Is there any way for him to get pot? Yeah, there is. There's a lot of ways for him to get positive tokens. Alright. But he does have minus one speed. Then, you know what? Let's just give you this. Unfortunately, Alchemist does lower the amount of health she has. But her quirk um, evens out for this when it's low enough. You see, even your but let me guess, it's going to be an insanely difficult battle. We're all going to lose. Okay, um, yeah, we can, we can just use... Oh, dude, this is so good. We can steal the blind off Leper to heal... Dude, I'm a genius. And we blighted him and we knocked him back. Then we'll use Slice off here. He's dead. That's, that's a waste of his turn. Oh my goodness. I'm loving this team already. We're gonna miss this, probably. No, we hit. That's insane. I'm gonna give this to Damien. Oh, yeah. Brown Star, 5% chance to throw um, a Molotov con cocktail, or whatever it's called. Gain on hit, 2 burn, 5% chance, apply on hit. Yeah, it's honestly not that bad. Oh, but it, they must spend their entire turn. That's not actually that good then. Because if he can't do anything else in his turn, that seems pretty bad. Yeah, it's the end of his turn. That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to get rid of that then. Because just the chance for him to not be able to do anything is just not good. Okay, let's cause him to bleed. I'm fine with that. Damien is... I'm perfectly fine with Damien taking damage. It's literally his job. Then a Baldwin's guaranteed to hit there. Let's do some backline damage. Let's get the Widow dead with some Plague Grenade. Some Blight. Ooh, we can use Fester here. Yeah, let's do it. Now both of them are going to take extra damage per turn. I'm fine with that, man. Baldwin, he, he's fine. I'm fine with him taking damage. Well, he resisted the stun, though. That's good. Now we can kill him here, basically. Yeah, he's dead in his turn, right? No. Because both of these apply at the same time. Not difference. Let's kill him. Damien can still attack from back here. Let's heal this. Extinguished at last. I mean, there's really not nothing I can do. I mean, if he had stress, it would have been perfect. Because I could remove stress from Baldwin. Two skills, remove one stress and one moves two. I think I'm going to upgrade Punish. It just feels right to upgrade Punish and um, Inspiring Tune. 
Everybody's healing up a bit. I guess that was good, except for the Pyromaniac trait. I'm gonna have to fix that. Because there's just a 5% chance that I don't get to do, do anything of importance on his turn. Rest tonight under the mountain's unblinking gaze. Alright, now, um. Let's get Punish here. Uh, damage 48. Yeah, there we go. Knockback and some. Uh, we could do this and go for more, but I don't want to. I want to do inspiring too. It removes three. Wait, has that changed? I could have sworn it did not remove this much stress before. It removes three stress and removes horror. That's actually really good. Okay, let's see. What does the provisioner have? All right, I'm saying this increased chance of getting things. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. All right, now let me get um a bit of whiskey flasks on the road to damnation. Because none of them are resolute. Let's get a few of these. I'm only really gonna need two now. Then we can get ooh more healing given. Maybe more healing given would be good. Yeah, I'm saying more healing given. Because I'm fine with Plague Doctor doing less damage, because again, we're going for a damage over time, rather than actual just straight up damage. Also, one, one big problem we have here, very low speed. When I say very low, I mean very, very low. Alright, now, let's go to the Tangle, maybe. Everywhere in need. Yeah, yeah, let's go to the tangle. Mud and rain, resignation and death. This land is truly barren. We could get more healing received from skills. We could give. Oh, I think we should give this to um, Damien. Yeah. I mean, we could give it to Baldwin to make his this even better. But I'm saying this, that way Lash's gift is even better for me. Okay, let's give you two. No, I should probably be doing it for, for the pairs that actually matter. But just to make sure, like, nobody's at too bad of anything, I'm gonna give... I don't know, everybody should have, like, one, right? So for Damien... Everyone... Everyone there, okay, yeah. We just don't have enough whiskey to um, get too many pips on anyone. Alright, let's rest and go to the Tangle. Ooh, this is a difficult one. I do want to unlock more abilities, but maybe but getting rid of Pyro Maniac, then we can go around this way and get some more abilities. Let's do it. Hospital, it is. Let's get rid of Damien's quirk, and unfortunately, that's loathing right off the bat. I'm I'm, I'm really liking Damien's Peacemaker trait though. Okay, wellness, pyromaniac, get rid of it. Even the worst habits can be overcome. I don't really want anything else. I mean, healing salves would be good. Y'all yeah, buy uh, a couple of healing salves there. That's all I need, though. Yeah, we go towards the hoarder, right? And hope that this isn't another low thing. It's a battle, all right. Yeah, that peacemaker maker trait's really good. He's gaining positive pips with everyone. This is the only thing I can think of that it would be. All right, we're gonna do a fade to black here to make sure Baldwin can hit this guy. 
He's still shocked. It's gonna hurt. Resist the debuff. Unfortunately, got a stress, but he just silently laughs. Okay, now we can do a play grenade back here. Which should inflict 5 blight, 3 blight. Dude, blight. So good. Unfortunately, Baldwin's gonna go last here because Baldwin has minus 1 speed. By accumulation. Wild swing. I guess I'm back to the front, right? Good. Because now he's dead. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Then we can use Fester here to get um, 3 blight here, 3 blight here, 3 blight. We've got three blight everywhere. Maybe we can apply some uh, bleed, though I doubt it. It's flame at 66. Sorry, not 66. 86. Let's attack the pillager. Crack, crack shot. I'm having trouble speaking English. All right, now you can kill this guy. Yeah, just Baldwin, man. That's why you need Jester if you're gonna play ball play um anything that uses Baldwin. All right, let's give him some more blight. Seven, eight. He does not die in his turn. I'm afraid to say. Now he's dead. Slow dissection and avoid an unavoidable end. All right, I'll give Damien the emboldening vapors. That guy has a death blow. This guy's not dead yet. But at least we gain some positive pips with Damien. Then we can use, um, Fester here. We could heal some stress. But I'd rather just go for the kill. Also, in the first game you can get 200 stress, but stress checks constantly happened. Plus 66 Blight Resist? Um... Who has very low Blight Resist? You, you have no Resist at all. It's because your path, right? No, you just have no Resist base. Zero, because you're... Oh my goodness. But, but hey, at least now he won't be Blighted. Pretty sure normally you'd have to sacrifice like Burn or Bleed Resist for that, but now you don't because it's um Iridescent or something like that. Also, we spent all our money before we got to the hoarder, but I'm fine with that. Because we are finding some money, but just not enough. Ooh, this is this is for Jester, but I don't like that. Taunts. It's not that good. Oh, whiskey bottle. I'll buy that. Some more flames. Why not? Spend a bit of cash on the flames. So now we have some whiskey. A bottle of whiskey. It does have a chance that they'll gain negative pips. But I really hope that won't come to, um... I don't know how to say words. Well, the hope, I hope that won't come true. Okay, so we are going to the lair. So we're going to have to fight something at the lair. But we're not going to do the lair. It's far too early, I'm thinking. But I'm going to get um, Damien with some more traits. The past, we learned to face the future. Pretty sure he got beaten up so badly or something like that, right? Flagellant. Chapter 1. Baptism. He was a listless shade of the city, indifferent to his penury. With his skeletal build and bleeding gums, he looked an easy target for a pair of drunks seeking an outlet for their frustrations. The blows rained down, a tooth cracked, and a feverish crimson eclipsed his vision. In pain, there was power. He rose above his panting assailants and reveling in the marks of their sin, who gave them their trespasses. I don't get it. What does any of that mean? Dude, this skin for Damien makes him look like a complete psychopath. And I'm pretty sure that's how he looked in the original game or something. So you unlock Acid Rain. 
target, two blight, self 10% damage. Um, 33%, th sorry, 30% uh, blight resist when target is, um, what's it called? Comboed. Do we want that over... I'm thinking we might want that over Endure. No, because then we can transfer stress onto Damien, who then can get cured by the Jester all in one thing, but that's just too much, I'm thinking. Who, Anne? No, wait, because in the main oh, because the maniac he does not apply blight, he apply Actually, that's really good. Dude, all of Damien's paths are just the best. Cause I just realized something. If that that, that applies weakening to the two characters in the very back, meaning they do less damage. That is so good I cannot even begin to explain how good it is. Glimmer of hope. Use glimmer of hope. Arbalists need to die. Also, I realize that some of these characters' names are actually apparently characters from the uh, original, like, first game. Minus one stress. Plus one stress. Let's add some blight to them. Dude, three blight. Skips his turn because he's dazed. Wait, isn't he just... Yeah, he's basically just dead. Alright. Uh, I'll try to use break here. I missed. And then I, No, I don't gain any blind. That's fortunate. Let's add some, um... Combo here. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. Doesn't add any more blight, but it, it does weaken them. That's so good. Dude, Maniac Path is so good. Lethality writ large. It's not going to be the best path, because all paths for Damien are great, because they all just change how his move, moves work, and I love that. Rather than giving him more health or more damage if he's in a certain rank. Alright, we apply no combo here. I need to upgrade that to get combo. But let's just try to bring this guy down to um, death store. There we go, plus it broke his armor. I think if you do en enough damage, it'll break the armor. Okay, now this would kill. But they're gonna, that's sick. That's three. Yeah, they're both dead in their turns. Also, death can be used at any time to heal anyone. That's so good. All right, let's break, break his armor, bring him down to death's door. I did get rid I got rid of Purge, right? Yes, I did. And here's what I can do. Reflection. Relieve stress. Stress be gone. There we go. Dead now. And we reduce stress. Okay, uh, this this is going good. We could probably fight the boss here. But I don't want to. I'm gonna save that for the next region. I'm saying we go to the assistance. No, we go to the. Yeah, we'll go to the assistance encounter. Oh yeah, that, now I really don't want to fight the boss if he's gonna have more speed. Ooh, ten damage there. That's that's a lot. It's gonna be half, half, half. It's half, Noah. Why can't I speak English properly? I don't know. Actually, if I was smart, I'd swap these two characters around. The way I can do a combo the first turn, allowing Bear, um, Baldwin to attack. Why does Baldwin have 100% stress resist? Why do you have it too? Is it because of the light? It's a dim light. Okay, maybe... Yeah. Let's attack him there. It's a resist to the move, but it is a blight. We could combo that Blight into an even better Blight. Minus resistances? Oh, that's right. These guys have minus resistances. Cannot gain block. There we go. Six Blight in his turn. We could just do Reflection, or we could try to do Break. I'll do Break. That was good. That, removed, that removes all block. 
And I think that, that stuns him, how unfortunate. I was really hoping to be able to apply combo. But he pulled and stunned, I mean it's gonna take till turn four to apply I want Damien over here. I would like to do some damage to the back line here, give them some blight, cause them to die. There we go, 77. Let's just try to go for the kill here. He's dead. There's no way he can heal. Okay, now we're gonna do Fate to Black here on the Widow. Hopefully we blind her, we do. I Meaning for desperate grab shouldn't do anything. Our gruesome reflection, because it'll miss. There we go. Arbalest is unfortunately gonna do tons of damage to Damien. Which we can heal him. A little help impeccably timed. Now question, does Damien get um No, Damien gets no abilities when he gets low on health. That's an unfortunate crit. But you know what Damien says to critical hits? He doesn't say anything. He's just perfectly fine if it. We could heal here. Or we could do damage. I'm saying we heal. Honestly, man, Damien is just so good. He's probably one of my favorite characters now. Also, in the original game, Baldwin didn't gain blind, because I don't think blind existed. He just had very low accuracy. One less obstacle in our There are others. We can use Fester here to get rid of that body and cause some blight on him. Let's also get some more blight. Just more blight. I just want him to die. Blight. We can do a reflection here to remove that. I'm gonna use this glimmer of hope, which should bring in yeah up to 92. Use reflection here. No, I don't exactly want. No, yeah, I, I want to kill him. I was like, I don't exactly want to kill him. Dude, they both have blundering and they both trigger at the same time. I could use deathless here and heal them. He does heal for more than he takes damage. But I think could just spend some of the healing salves. No, I'll just use faster. I don't want to gain any more hits on on anyone. I'll just heal this next time. Um, I'm just gonna escape here. I don't really want to fight this. Abandoned or forgotten, it is ours now. I like how it gives you that option. You don't you don't have to fight the lair. Whoa! Almost actually went straight through there. I mean, we could go to the oasis, but I kind of want to go to the assistant encounter. Also, I'm, I'm definitely going to keep Damien's um, abilities on him. Actually, real quick, I wanted to swap one of his abilities. Empty of hope and humanity. Critical hit, he's dead. Yep, yeah, he's dead. That's going to be a uh, light. I could heal again here. I'm gonna do it. Cost of 50%. Yeah, honestly, this is this is a good combo. Maniac with Baldwin. Maniac, da uh, Damien with Baldwin. Because now Baldwin can attack. Damien gains the blind, but he also heals from it. I can't see anything wrong with this at all. Unfortunately, Plague Doctor took damage from that. Could do a Deathless here. But, let me think. Um, and as long as she doesn't get hit. As long as she doesn't get hit, she should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Zero damage. There we go. Now we can do this. And then now we can heal ourselves for five. I like how I'll say ourselves, even though this isn't me. Steady yourself. None of these characters are. We gotta keep referring to them as if they were me. Strange. Okay, let's do an attack here. 
Resistant at debuff. Okay, let's uh, remove some stress off Damien. Don't want him going talk so I can tell him he had to the mountain. Let's do some Fester here. They both resisted that Blight. That is really unfortunate. They have such low Blight resist though. They have 20. And 20. Okay, that, that was just really bad luck then. Alright, Baldwin. As long as she doesn't do Don't Look. Yeah, we should be fine with this. Armor broken, 22 damage. Fell the tree, I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna do half damage because he's weak. Let's break that final piece of armor. Ah, oh, come on, you really? There you go, he's dead. Persistence will overcome. No, it's strange. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with Damien constantly injuring himself. Because I know he always has the ability to heal. Okay, here's what I could do. I could... No, I can't do this. I could do this. I mean, I could do this just to heal two stress off. But that's what we have Jester for. I could have just done like a fester there, but I didn't want to. We are the flame, burning brightly. Now we got more money. Honestly, these battles are really good. Honestly, now here's what I'm gonna do here. I, I kind of like fester, but not enough to keep it for right now. I want endure. That way, I can um, steal stress off Baldwin, then heal it with Jester. But Sendai has to be careful of that because I don't want him going toxic. Because him going toxic is, I think, worse for relationships than meltdowns. Achoo! So we rob them? We gain some flame and some combat items. We gain some food. I want the combat items. What are you going to give me? That is actually pretty good. I like that. I didn't want to buy too much because we had some decent stress heals. But we can still use it. Now we're going to fight another battle before going to a hoarder, who we can probably buy something good from. Then another random thing to an occultist, uh, sorry, an oblivion battle, and to something. Alright. The path ahead is not clear at all. Like, as long as these guys aren't doing damage, I'm perfectly fine with it. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. But now we do this. He unfor unfortunately dodged. But you can do a door on anyone, there's no requirements. So you can just gain stress if you want then. But I, I, it probably has a cooldown. Now here I'm actually going to do reflection, removes combo and removes blind. And heals one stress, but that's not important. Again, not attacking and I'm fine with this. I'll just use acid rain. So I'm not sure why Acid Rain hurts Damien, but I'm not going to question it. Don't question Damien. He's a madman, and you never question mad people. You run away from mad people. Yeah, I'll do an Acid Rain here. That will kill. That will add Weaken. Right, that adds no Blight. I keep forgetting, it does not add Blight. This does. The plies weaken. Death blow. Another if you can kill it before it can attack you back, then it can't kill you. So 
what I always say. If you if you kill it before it kills you, then it can't kill you. Also like how that applies on blind. I'm going to That's an eight. And that's an eight. Okay, um I'll heal him, because Damien. Damien's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal these from him. By the way, I can't because his turn's gonna be first. What's wrong with Damien? Why is he? He has three speed, pace. Versus minus one. What's with that? Oh no, wait, he's going first. We're gonna do Lash's gift here. Steal that blind from him. Not a kill. I wish they raised the damage floor on that when you upgrade it, but they don't. Which is really unfortunate, because they really need to. If you ask me. Damage floor definitely needs to be raised. The bad thing now that we don't have Fester, we can't really remove corp remove corpses. So another flash fire, that's gonna add more burn. But these should disappear on this turn, right? Three, three, okay, she's dead in her turn. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna um, I'm going to heal him. Then I'm going to use a heal salve here and just hoping he doesn't go first. Could do deathless. No, I'll do endure. Yeah, no, Jester goes. Jester can do an inspiring tune. Now Damien goes. Damien can do punish. And I still take damage. I think I'm a lot lower health than when I started. I think I wasted a heal salve. I don't know, that wasn't good because a lot of damage over time. Damage over time is pretty powerful, not just on you, but on the enemy. And not just on an enemy, an enemy but you. There we go, we're going to the trader. Let's see what he has to offer. Um, there's some decent items here. We could get some of this, but I don't want it. Less max health and more speed. Not worth it. Converts block to super block at first in turn order, plus one stress. Plus 10% max health, minus 3% more critical hits. This would be good, but we can't afford it. Wish we could, though. I'm going to buy this. And I'll also buy this. Because I find that trinkets are often cheaper here. Damien has more health now. He can, he can, he can attack one more time. Dude. That's honestly really bad at how much oblivion we've been forced to do. But we should produce it all here, right? This reduces it to zero. I hope so, because the next one's loathing. We well, that won't do too good for us. All right, face of black. Okay, he's blinded. We need that altar dead. So I'm thinking we do a play grenade, which should blight both of them. Then we can do an Acid Rain. Actually, we could just do Punish. And knock this guy back, too. Or this guy. I'd rather do some damage. He resisted the knockback. What is what is his resist for move? 40. The subject carefully, and you will discover its weaknesses. He's not going to go to Death's Door, but it's close enough. Definitely going to need to heal Damien here. Of trust. Okay, this guy's dead next turn. Because we're gonna definitely gonna be able to do damage. Why is everything going before us? Ooh, I want to do an acid rain here, but I think I'll do punish. He's blinded. Why why were you blinded? Empowered. It's blood bond, isn't it? Blood Bond applies blind and blade. The bleed part makes sense. 
The blind part doesn't to me. That's a guaranteed hit with Barristan. I think if we do basically have a guaranteed hit for a heal. Well, I'll do break here. Gets rid of all of his block. Now I kind of want to heal here. Because we're pretty low and we got a lot of stress. So Jester's next job is just to heal Damien's um, stress. There we go. Now he can actually steal someone else's stress and then put it back to him. Okay, Rush Judgment. Rush Judgment. I like that because it's not afflicting bleed or anything like that. Damien's really low. I'm really hoping that Baldwin gains um, blind here. Because we do have to have someone to have negative tokens in order um, to heal. Oh, debuff resist. He resisted the blind. Dude. Dude. I can cost him blind here. I'm going to do this in hopes that um, we get blinded. I'd like to do some blank back here. Six Blight, three Blight. Nocturnal Commune, that should get rid of your Blind, right? No, it does not I mean you can still miss that. The critical hit does, I'm pretty sure, make Blind less of a... Less of a, an effect. Let's kill. And weaken. Banishment, kill 100 Cosmic Beans. Oh, so these things are Cosmic Beans. They don't look like beans to me. So that means uh, Monarch does better against these. But Monarch's pretty garbage against everything else. This is gonna hit like a truck. Except you miss because the blind. Uh, I love it. Love to see it. Let's do Endure here. Really need a heal on Damien right here. I'm really liking Endure though. Because then I can put all the stress in one person and heal it all off, all at once. Now, I'm pretty sure this thing will self destruct, right? Yeah. Which implies, yeah, so much stress. Maybe we can get a battle before this. 50% more damage, 33% less max health. Less burn resist. Sorry, more burn resist. Dude, we could give that to um, Baldwin. That would put him at 22 health max. You. 25 health max. You get 50% 50 50 more damage. I'm, I think I'll do that. And I, I'll, give, I'll give Baldwin all his trinkets back. Cause I'm kind of fine with Jester having less health. I just hope he doesn't get one shot. One shot in. And I hope we get no negative pips. Uh, unfortunately, we get one negative pip there. But it really was nothing. And good thing I bought that whittling tool. I'm gonna give it right to um Damien because Damien is um roiling. Not sure what that means. And stress. Head injury. Really. Come on, Damien, really? Dude. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Fear of death and dying. Ally death plus 10 stress. If an ally dies, it they instantly just... Remote yet remarkably well provisioned. Yeah, because they see the course thing. Yeah, it's because it steal things. Supplies, donations to your cause. Oh, this is good. That's unfortunate. We got so many negative things right there. Must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Mastery trainer. Um. Okay, I'm gonna get fade to black upgraded so we can get a combo on it. Then we're gonna go to Damien. We could get acid rain upgraded, but I don't want it upgraded right now. Let's say we upgrade our heal. Heal 25% of health. K 
Okay, provisioner. Let's buy a couple of these. Stress heal. Stress heal. Stress heal. No stress. You two drink. Wait, he's not drinking the alcohol, he's just pouring it on his arm. That's funny. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Why would he do that? That was my main question. Why why would he pour alcohol on his arm? Does it like hurt him or something? Oh, he's purifying his wounds. And I'm pretty sure Plague Doctor would literally do the same thing. Rain. She literally just said, isn't this an uh, disinfectant? Is there no sanctuary from this madness? Let's go to the falter. In the next episode, we're still gonna rest. But yeah, in the next episode, let's see, is it negative? It's positive, it's respectful. Tried and tested. A bond to be That's good, I'm using both of those moves, like all the time. Anyways, that's going to be all for today's video. We did pretty good, except for everybody has negative traits now that are actually really bad, and I hope to rem remove them at a field hospital. So, um, yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. Till next time, goodbye.